Hi everyone, my name is Zigzag and welcome to my channel. Now I had the massive good fortune of collabing with GeoWizard today and in this video you're going to see my perspective from the 100 rounds we played against each other. So it was Tom's idea that we'd do 100 rounds on 10 seconds no moving, panning or zooming and see how many he could take off me out of 100. His prediction was that I would get 90 rounds, my prediction was that I would get about 80 and so that is exactly what we're going to see today. Guys I feel like I have to say this before we get into it as well. Without GeoWizard it is highly likely that this channel would not exist and that I never would have gotten into GeoGuessr. I distinctly remember the first time I saw him get an Eswatini run correct and I was like, I have to know how to do that. So thank you, Tom, for the opportunity. And yeah, guys, I have 15,000 games of GeoGuessr played. So you're gonna see a bit of a different play style from me, much more knowing specific little hints and camera matters and stuff like that. So that will at least make the playing field more even. But yeah, guys, I say we jump straight into the rounds here. You'll hear my explanations of where I'm gonna go and let's see how many rounds out of 100 I can beat GeoWizard on. Let's get it. Oscar, how you doing? I'm well, thanks, Tom. It's an absolute pleasure to be here. I'm so excited. I am really excited too. It's a pleasure to have you here too. So what we've got for you lucky viewers today is a shootout really between me and Oscar. We are going to play 100 rounds each or 20 games of no moving, panning or zooming 10 seconds per round. The infamous hardest format of GeoGuessr, one that we've both played thousands of games of, and we're going to do it on the world version. Okay, here we go. And this is an interesting start. Should be somewhere in Malaysia. Asia, double white road lines. Oh, we're driving right. Okay, it's not at all. Should be somewhere in like Poland then, I thought. Or maybe somewhere else. I'm not quite sure. Oh, it's Portugal. What a disastrous first round. <laughs> oh my gosh. I thought it was Malaysia. I thought we were driving left for some reason. Terrible start. The nerves are getting to me, guys. Okay. You've yes. gone Poland. I just was caught off guard there. I just, I thought it was Asia at wow. first. I thought we were driving left, so. Okay. I Yeah, I panicked there. My heart was in my mouth. I didn't know what to do. Okay. Terrible start. Let's bounce back here. Next one. Looking like Northern Europe this time. I would say like Sweden here is working quite nicely. Could it ever be Iceland? I, I don't think so. I think it is Sweden, but it could be like Reykjavik or something. It is. Oh my gosh, no. Uh, okay, well, at least we're somewhat closer there. <laughs> um, yeah, not a good start here. <laughs> Man, I'm just stuck in France. At least you went Scandinavia of some sort. <laughs> right. So we did okay. We did see a uh, lack of blue strips there. I didn't really pick it up though. So yeah. Ah, uh, right. The blue strips. On the plates, yeah. Okay, time to bounce back. Come on then. This is Bulgaria. I can immediately tell that. Should be somewhere central. Well, we have a Bulgarian flag, so he's very liable to beat me here. And I was kind of thinking central region here, uh, just because it is a bit flatter. Uh, we'll see what it actually is though. Central southern there instead. And oh, we go Serbia. So he didn't pick up on the flag there, which is good for us. Now you're, now you're starting to get into the swing of it. Well, I hate I hate to tell you, Tom, but there was a Bulgarian flag on the left side of the screen there. <laughs> I know. I, I, <laughs> I saw it with like one second to oh, go no. and I'd, I'd, I'd committed to Serbia. But oh, you well, know. Got the Balkan vibe. That's Not too right. bad. Not too bad. Okay, next one here is Australia or New Zealand. I think it's New Zealand. Yeah, that's a New Zealand poll. I think Auckland is most likely here. It kind of feels like a bigger city kind of vibe here. I would just go downtown in the suburbs here. Oh, let's see which, it was Auckland. Nice. Does he get it? Ooh, he goes North America. Well, that's good. Mate, what a guess. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Auckland, and conversely, not the greatest guess on my part. <laughs> I can definitely, I can definitely understand that guess. It's not, it's not, it's not as bad as you think, but really? yeah. All right, guys, surely I've shaken off the nerves by now and we can get into some UK guessing here. I think he's going to get a good guess, but I would say it's definitely UK, not Ireland. And I would say it feels, it feels distinctly south of London here. So I might just go in this kind of area here. I hope to get closer. Oh, I've got a good guess here. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yes, I'm happy with that one. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> well done, mate. Thank you very much. Well Thank you very much. I, uh, my marker was actually near Oxford and mm -hmm. then I uh, I moved it up for some reason. Oh no, it, it had a very like, the, the trees gave me a bit of a southern vibe there. It kind of looked a bit more warmer climate. I agree, mate. I think it sort of evened itself out there. We've ended on 16731 for Oscar and 11649 for me. Mm -hmm. And it's um, four to one so far. Four to one, yeah. That's kind of what you predicted really overall. So true, I'll true, happy, true. I'll be happy if I can stick to that. All right, second game. Let's start it off better than we did the first. Oh, it's a hard round here. Yeah, so we have like a European style sign here. But really, I, I don't know. I think France might be best here, but I'm, I'm unsure here. Oh, Sweden. Where does he go? Yeah, he goes France too. I mean, yes, I got closer here, but really only just. And that's a difficult Sweden, I feel very much so. You beat me. That's just a bit unlucky, isn't it now? <laughs> That is crazy. Both of us going near Paris. We both know that 
Paris is quite heavily yes. featured on the world map. Yes, um, yes, it is. As is Vienna, as is Tokyo. What else? Oh, Singapore. Singapore a lot, yeah. You know, yeah. it's one of the reasons I picked it because, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of likely. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but Balkan kind of vibe here do we have? Yeah, we got round poles as well. Herb is striped. I think this feels like Serbia more than anything, though I'm not really sure. I'll, I'll center hedge Serbia here. Ooh, it, was, it was Romania, uh, and he goes Germany. So that's good for us at least. Not the best guess from me. The red and white curbs were interesting there, but hey, we took it. Well done, mate. Yeah, not not the best guess, but the striped curbs, that's really kind of like a Balkan thing. You don't really see that in Western Europe, so mm. that's why I went there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Okay, next one here. Looks like it's going to be Russia. We have an Asian car here. So I think maybe East Russia. And I'm not really sure where, too, too sure where to go on that account. I'm just going to click like that. And it was all the way East Russia here. Yeah, he, I mean, I should have probably gone there, but he doesn't get the vibe luckily. So we're still significantly closer. Okay, next one here, jumping straight in. And we appear. Here, I would say to be in Nigeria. Yes, I would say this is northern Nigeria, like Kano, this kind of region here. Oh, it is Kano, very nice. And he goes in Tunisia, not a terrible guess there. Uh, but yeah, those houses definitely look in Nigerian. That was very odd, mate. I've never had that sort of round before. Right, so yeah, they only added northern Nigeria quite recently to Google Street View, like a year ago maybe. Oh. And also that terrible camera quality is only found in some countries, so nothing can really mask that. It's uh, it's definitely something you find quite often in Nigeria. Okay, yeah, because I had a sort of red car, or maybe that was a different car that was coming past. But... Yeah, it was, I think, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, and this one, I mean, it looks immediately like Brazil, I would say, though. Ooh, 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 what? What's the square pole doing there? I think it's actually Thailand, you know. We have a lot of palms here. I think it's Asian buildings. Oh, it is. It's Vientiane. Oh, and he gets closer. Oh, we had a lot of palms. And it is, oh, it's right on the border there. We both missed the country and he's closer. So there we go. Another round for Geoism. Okay, Claude one back there. Just there we about. go. There we go. Makes up for the uh, Paris round. That's for sure. That was actually Lao. It was actually Lao. Yep. A rare little Lao round. They don't show up too often, but there you go. No, they certainly don't show up often on the world version. Yeah, that's certainly true. Yeah, actually quite rare. 8,256 points points for me. Not too proud of that. Um, in mean, practice, I was getting over 10,000. Yeah, that's that's the same ratio again, isn't it? Four to one? Yeah, also four to one. Also four to one. Four to one, so we're on eight two. Okay, headed through to game number three here. This is Greece. Yeah, we have Greek language. Now, the question is, do we just want to go Athens? I don't think it particularly felt like Athens, to be honest. I'm going to click Larissa here instead. And, oh, it is Larissa. Let's go. Okay, it was so flat. That's why I had to say it. Uh, and, oh, he didn't catch the Greek. He goes Vilnius. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is more how, how I imagine this this game going, mate. Um, <laughs> yeah. Really bad guess from me, but how have you got the right town? That is insane. Well, I thought it looks like a bigger city, but it was flat, and Athens suburbs tend to be a bit hillier. So I just wanted to go to the middle of the country, so I would beat you if you also got that it was Greece, and then in a bigger city, and Larissa happened to be the one. So that's really nice. <laughs> really nice is an understatement. That's <laughs> fucking insane. <laughs> also, Vilnius, I do, I, like, I'm not just saying this, I do understand the guess, the kind of like a terraced or whatever you, whatever you want to say, house, those three story houses, like, mm. kind of look similar to there. So I do understand that guess. You know, you virtually can't tell them apart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, through again here. Is this India, maybe? I thought maybe this is India. No, it's not. So what are we looking at here? Maybe oh, it's something southern. It's like, it's like a, it's something. So we had Odessa earlier. I think, I think this could be, oh, it is Odessa. Let's go. <gasps> On it again. Okay. What a crazy start here. Oh my gosh. Wow. Couldn't quite get my words out there, but that was, that right, was Right, really explain nice. yourself. Okay. So we had Soviet <laughs> style square poles there. That's the type you'd see in all the X. Soviet countries. And then also we had this very kind of dry coverage, which I mean, looks like it's going to be closer to the south of either Russia or Ukraine. Fair enough, mate. Are you pleased with these guesses? Are these, oh. are these wow? What, what are your reactions? Oh yeah. These? Yeah. I was very happy with that one. This is a really great start to the seed. <laughs> I'm very impressed. Thank you. <laughs> right, moving on. Moving on. All right, let's see if we can keep up this hot pace. Oh, we have German here. Feuerwehr. Okay, so I don't really get a certain vibe off this. It might feel more East German to me. I could see Berlin here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. And oh, it's actually Austria. He went Austria. I don't know what I was missing there. It's actually Linz. That really makes sense. Yeah, I'm happy with that, mate. Yep, nice guess. What made you, what made you go Austria there? I didn't actually see anything <clears throat> Austrian. Well, Vienna does feature quite heavily on That's this. That's true. It, it, no, I, I was ready to go German. Germany, but there was a few buildings to the left with sort of more orange roofs. Mm, mm. Like white buildings with orange roofs. 
proves. Mm -hmm. uh, there weren't many, but that was enough to make me think um, that it can't really be northern Germany. Mm -hmm. So I thought, mm -hmm. fuck it, I'll go Vienna. No, very nice guess. Very nice guess. Well done. Tar very much. So then back through. He's already gotten closer than me three times. Was this Taiwan? Yes, I would. I think this is a very difficult guess for him to get. But I think these are Taiwanese poles in the background. Also the landscape with the hilliness and the tropical kind of vibe here. I think I'm correct. Oh, it was Japan. Where does he go? He also goes Taiwan. I was very confident that that was Taiwan. And he is actually closer there because I went a bit further south, so. It's been an interesting game. I've just pipped you there as well. We've both yeah. gone Taiwan. Yeah, so I was, I mean, obviously I have the car blocked, so I couldn't quite see that it was the low camera that you get in Japan, but I was really, I was really confident on um, Taiwan there. It really looked like it, so yeah. Wow, okay, cool. Okay, and we have some Europe to finish off here. I think this is Sweden this time. Could be Finland. Actually, this kind of brick building here looks more Finnish. Skanska, I don't know what that means. I feel like this is kind of this region here. I'll hedge for both countries as well. Ah, uh, it's Olu, and he goes, okay, he goes southern Sweden there, so yeah, we're pretty safe there. That was a good guess. All right, mate, well done. You got me there with Finland. Yeah, good game. So 3-2 there, though. That, I mean, this is already going better than you thought, you have to admit. It is, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not getting too close when I get them wrong, I think it's fair to say. Uh, <laughs> That's true, but, but... Yeah, yeah, it's, it's quite easy to clinch a game if you both get it wrong. Like that's that, right. Guess. That's right. And that, that's 10 second NPZ. Every every player in the world is getting quite a few rounds wrong. So yeah. Yeah, exactly. All right. Through again here. Let's see how we can manage. Oh, we back in the UK. We are here. And ooh, the housing estates is interesting. I don't really know how far north to go here. I feel like this kind of feels maybe a bit like Liverpool, Manchester stuff. I'm really not sure. Okay. It's a bit further. Oh, he's going to get this. Yeah, I knew he'd get it. There we go. Well, what can I really do there? <laughs> yeah. I didn't. As soon as I saw it pop up near Birmingham, I was like, oh, this is over for me. <laughs> <laughs> that is one of the few scenarios where I might have the edge. Oh, you certainly do. That was, uh, yeah, no chance, no chance. Okay, next one here is going to be Iceland. And it is relatively flat here to the south. So I kind of think of this kind of region here, maybe, where you do kind of get this flatness and then mountains to the north like this. I feel like it's a good guess. Yeah, it is, nice. And he gets a good guess too, but we are closer. Very nice, very nice. Okay, moving forward to the next round here. I immediately thought Puerto Rico with this pole. Yeah, it's gonna be Puerto Rico, unless it was Guatemala somehow, but I think this pole looks more, ooh, I can see both here. I'm going Puerto Rico, but I can see Guat. Oh, it is Puerto Rico, thank goodness. What does he go here? Oh, here's DR. Not a bad guess, not a bad guess. Oh, mate, I thought I had that one. Yeah, that was a nice guess, honestly. Getting the vibes, but unfortunately wrong island. Yeah, getting the vibes. I thought, because I, I nearly went Ecuador and I thought, you know what? I'll mix it up a bit. Okay, next round here. Oh, this is very interesting. Snow-capped mountains, where are they? Ooh, I think it's Greenland here. It's a terrible country for me. We have more vegetation, so I'm more liable to click south in Greenland, but I'm really just hedging. I have no idea where it's going to be. When it is there, where does he go? Okay, it goes Norway. That makes sense, yeah. Okay, and the final round of the game here. This looks like Polish architecture immediately, but we have Soviet pole here. So I would say because of that so uh, Polish architecture and the Soviet pole that we'd be like on the border in Lithuania here would be my opinion. Okay, and it is Lithuania right on the Russian border. Good guess from him. But yeah. Mate, big game from you there. 22-9-7-7. Oh yeah, best score of the video so far. Happy with that. Yeah, that's really good. Good game. You also, um, had, you also had a really solid one, 18k. Yeah, do you know, I'm happy with that. I, was, I wasn't I was too far away. I was sort of straddling a bit behind you, but um, just couldn't compete. Okay, I really hope to get a flawless now. That's my desire. As we look at a Southern Italy with ocean south here. So that's kind of interesting that it's so flat here. These rock walls kind of reminded me of this kind of area. So I think I'll give that a go. Ooh, and it, oh, it's all the way south. He's probably closer. Yeah, he's closer. Ah, okay, that's a bummer. I trusted the rock walls here. Doesn't surprise me that it is all the way south. I mean, they're very common in Sicily too. Next one here. Um, is this Malta? Oh, yeah, it is Malta. It's too many sandstone buildings not to be. Let's get into the map here quickly. Get your marker down. Okay, should be there. Does he get it? Does he get it? Oh, he does, and we're just closer. <laughs> Happy with that. Uh, luckily, I didn't just click the letter. <laughs> Yeah, oh. that's a bit, that's a bit, how's it going? Oh, well, happy to take it though. <laughs> <laughs> that is a clincher. Oh my God. I wasn't sure about Malta, um, 100%, but I'm glad I went for it. Okay, next one here. Immediately, like a Turkish vibe here, I think. Maybe Albania. Okay, it's Israel. Ooh, where do I go in Israel here? It's not a free round. I think it's more maybe even just like on the border with Palestine here. I mean, like around here maybe. Ooh, and ooh, it's just Tel Aviv. Oh, it's just Tel Aviv. No, I really didn't get the vibe there. So well done. Ooh, you're on a shocking score here. I mean, a shockingly good score here. 14.3k. Yeah, man. Fuck, that's a good Ooh. point. Because I've never, I've been trying for about eight hours to get 24,000. This could be the same. Um, yeah, I haven't done it yet. I've got very close, painfully close. All we need is a Paris and a Vienna and your home and host. Exactly. This is exciting. Okay, what do we have here? I think Damn. it's... 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's not happy. I think it's just going to be a pretty easy North Netherlands here. It could be South Netherlands as well. They sometimes look similar, but I think this kind of looks like this kind of area to me. Uh, we shall see about that though. Oh, it is steep south. Ah, damn it. Oh, I should have just hedged in the middle. That's so oh, unfortunate. Gutting to have um, got that wrong because that was potential for big points, but I have pipped you, my good sir. Yeah, you've got you've got the you've got the seed. Um, well, you've at least got three out of uh, three out of four so far. There you go. That is crazy. Okay, what's well, a hard one. I think it might be like the, the cars are European actually. Is this like Albania or something? I, I, I don't know. It could be like Czechia or Slovakia or something like that as well because I maybe saw some Skodas in there. Okay, it's it's Belgrade and he goes Mexico. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's a really hard round, but yeah. What a way to end it. Yeah, that was a, a bit of a rough last round, but I get the Mexico, I guess. It was just some parking lots, but yeah. That's the difference. Yeah, it's the consistency, isn't it? Right, true, but you were very consistent in that seed as well. Last two seeds both been 18k plus, so pretty nice. I'm pleased. I'm very very pleased. Okay, sixth game. Sixth game, let's get it. So I'm quite shocked so far that we, how little USA we've had. And even still, Tom's been going really well. So it's really even interesting. This is, is it Nigeria? No, it, no, it's, um, it's, I think this is actually Rwanda, maybe. I could really see Rwanda working here. Is it? Yes, it is. Let's go. Go on. How do you tell Rwanda? Oh, I just got the vibe there. Like it, it just kind vibes. of, yeah, just vibes. And I think it was the right hand drive as well. So I thought Nigeria at first, but then I realized it was probably uh, Kigali. Fair play, man. Yeah. I, I, I I don't think I've ever had Rwanda outside of Kigali, but that was on Capital Cities map. So yeah, I'm really, it's quite alien to me. Yeah, yeah, it's also new coverage, yeah. Okay, next one here. Oh, it's Korea. It's not my strongest country. 800 area code. I think on world map, it's best to go in Seoul here, though that's a bit of a gamble. So I'm gonna go slightly southeast of Seoul. And it is Seoul. Where's he guess? Okay, he goes Daegu. That's good for us. Nice. Yeah, try to be clever there. Well done. I think on world map, it really is just <laughs> good to go Capital City somewhere. Sometimes. It is, it is, you're right. right. I'm off to a fly, let's see what happens here. Okay, and this one should be Bolivia, I think. Now, I don't think it looks like La Paz. I think this is more of like a Cochabamba vibe. So I could still see other places too, but I think I'll go Cochabamba here. Okay, with Sucre, and he goes La Paz, yeah. No capital city hit this time. <laughs> yeah, mate, you are, I just noticed how well you are actually doing in this game. It's been a nice start, it's been a nice start. Um, unfortunately, I could have got the city there. I opted for Cochabamba, which is just a bit bigger though. A bit gutty, because I, I imagine you considered Sucre. Ultimately, I think, as we've said, like what big cities are just kind of more popular on this map. So I just mm. like to click the bigger one, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, next one here. Southeastern Europe, I think, with these bins. Ooh, what is that? Could this be Portugal? Houses kind of look Portugal. I think the poles could be too. Yeah, I'm going to say this is Portugal. South coast, maybe. Like down here. It's kind of risky. Okay, it's just north of Lisbon there. Does he get it? Oh no! I was I was I was too confident, bro. I don't know why I just click all the way south there. That's silliness. Okay, and it's all the way north. Really, uh, really uh, surprising to me there. Okay, and the last one here. I think. Okay, so I think I've still gotten close to three out of four so far. And this one should be Jordan. Yeah, this is Jordan. Now, is it Amman or Jarash? I might click between the two. I think I, I do. I get the feeling this is a bit further north and it is Jarash there. And yeah, he goes Amman, yeah. I thought it might be. That was a good idea to go between them. Uh, so yeah, that was a 23.3. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Jarash. Yeah, it was a bit greener. There was a bit of like grass on the side of the road or something. I thought it might be there. Nice, man, well done. Thank you, thank uh, you. Also another great seed from you, 18K again. Yeah, not bad, not bad. That is higher than my average, that's for sure. So what were the scores on the doors in that one, Oscar? That was another 4-1. So you still haven't been flawless yet. Yeah. That's good. 23.308. Pretty damn good. I want to push it up. Okay, next round here. We do have some Ontario guardrails here. Greenfields. This could be quite far west in Ontario, but I think I would hedge at Sudbury here. I think it's best. Oh, it's a bit further south there. Where does he go? Okay, he goes in Illinois. That's lucky. Yeah, the guardrail's made of wooden posts there. That's only in Ontario. Okay, next round here. This should be somewhere in the UAE, which is potentially bad. Um, I think I would go downtown Dubai here, Um, just because it is. it feels very built up, but can still be a bunch of places. And it was further north than Dubai there. Oh, I, I switched off it. Do you guys see? I think I was still further south than him, but I really wow. clicked you, away. What were you thinking about that? Were you sure? I was pretty sure it was Dubai, but I wasn't sure where to click in the city. And yeah, nice guess. <laughs> that makes me feel a bit jammier because I didn't know it was, I didn't know it was Dubai. I've never had one like right in the center before. Okay, next one here. What do we have? Bit of Balkan stuff again here. What's the writing? Hey, no blue strips on the plates makes me think this might be Croatia. It could actually be like, no, I think this is around split maybe in Croatia. I think it's 
a good guess. Okay, is a bit further up there. And he goes Albania, good, yeah. So no blue strips on the plate. It's quite common to see, especially in the old coverage in Croatia, because they only joined the EU later on. So that makes sense. Next one here, what do we got going on? Maybe a bit of Russia action here or something like that. Uh, Meta. I think this might be a Turkish road with the black splodges on it. I'm gonna hedge west in case it's like Bulgaria or something. It is Bulgaria. Uh, he goes, he goes, <laughs> he goes in Poland, luckily for us. Yeah, I realized that that was probably Cyrillic, but it was just a whole bunch of letters that could actually also be found in normal like Turkish or Latin script, you know? So interesting. Oh, this one is interesting. I think it is Thailand or Cambodia with these palms, but I can still see Brazil. I have to go Thailand, Cambodia border here though. And it is Cambodia and he goes Brazil. Yeah, not really a surprise there. Looked like Brazil, uh, but yeah, we come out with the 21K there. Uh, again, another 4-1, I believe. I told you I'd confuse Asia with uh, South America at some point. I, I called out that that could be uh, Brazil. I was not sure right till the end. Mm, okay, that makes me feel better. That particular uh, style of palm tree with like the pom-pom branches at the top, very common mm. in Cambodia specifically. Okay, that's a good tip. What was that, 4-1 or was that a... Yeah, the Dubai saved you from the clean sweep. That is spectacular. I'm hanging <laughs> on by the skin of my teeth here. The, but, the streak uh... has been great for you, honestly. I'm really impressed. Let's keep it going. Okay, surely we can get a five now. And we have a bit of English here in India. Now, I don't see anything that would make me go not Delhi here, which is unfortunate. Oh, I didn't get my guess in. Oh, he's going to be closer. Yeah. Oh, I was not going to get closer than that anyway. Um, I didn't, I didn't, I was too looking at the signs there. Oh. You picked the suburb. How'd you do that now? Ah, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I lived in New Delhi for 22 years. So, no, uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next one here. This looks like a Bolivian signpost, which is made of thicker wood. We've also got mountains kind of west here. So I, I kind of like this road in Bolivia that kind of heads a bit further south like this because we're going north south. And indeed it was there. Now he goes Brazil. Yeah, understandable guess. Kind of look like Brazil there, um, but with the wooden signpost that makes Bolivia. Good guess, man. Easy. How'd you get Bolivia there? So yeah, Bolivia often having like these thick wooden signposts. So yeah, pretty much mostly oh. found in Bolivia in terms of South America. Sweet. Okay, and next one here almost looks a bit... Peru. Although I think actually the yellow painted bridges might make it Colombia instead. No, I want to go north. Ooh, ooh, I don't know. I think it's oh, Scheisse. Okay, we're lucky here because yeah, he's gone Sri Lanka. Um, I think I think it would be painted orange in Peru Um, and it's painted yellow in Colombia, though I really didn't have enough time to figure out what I thought there. Okay, he's opted to go straight on. I don't blame him. We Neither of us got that. Uh, next one here is Eastern Europe. Looks like a Polish house to me, but it could be further south. Oh, it could be easily Czechia. Got to make a decision here. I think it's Poland, but I could easily see down to Serbia. Okay, is it is Czechia there? Oh, you're joking. He's that. Oh, we picked the same area. No. Hipped you again. Sorry, mate. Unbelievable. What <laughs> What a piss take. I, and and the, the sad thing is that we had these like kind of posts that were painted black and yellow or something. I think that's only in Czechia and Slovakia. So I really fumbled that one. He's just cracking under the pressure now. I am. <laughs> now in the final round, I think it's going to be France, right? No. Okay, this is, yeah, we got the wide blur here. I can see it through my script. So this should be somewhere in Switzerland. Now, is it French? I think I'll click this French side here. Oh, no, it wasn't France at all. It wasn't French at all, but yeah. Okay, so what was that? It was Italian? Oh, or something. He's got that one. Yeah, was that was that Italian or Romance or what? Because I thought it was French. I thought it was French too, but maybe oh. it was just, you know, a French shop or... Yeah, I mean, I would assume you almost never... It must just be a Romance or something. I don't know. That's definitely a Italian area of Switzerland. Right, That's right. Sure. Yeah, yeah. So it probably was just Italian and we both misread it, which is lucky for me. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Game number nine. Okay. Best of luck. Good luck, Tom. Alrighty. So game number nine here, starting off with Soviet Poles. And I think this is a bit too dry looking to be somewhere in... I think this is definitely uh, Ukraine is what I wanted to say. And it is a bit further south there. He goes Russia. Understandable. Looked like Russia, but just kind of a bit too summery or something like that. Um, I don't really know how to describe it. You just have to play thousands of rounds and then you kind of get that vibe. This one here should be Mexico City. Is it? What are those poles? Ooh, the short plates. What are these? Uh, uh, what is that pole? It is a Mexican pole, I think. Mexico City, surely. Thank goodness. I was really thinking that was Brazil for a second. He goes Buenos Aires. Makes sense. And wow, we picked the right suburb there again. That's fantastic. Insane. I was panicking there. I had no idea if it was going to be Brazil or Mexico at the end. Bloody hell, that makes it even better. Yeah, it does, it does. <laughs> okay, we'll move on. I want to forget about that round. Yep. <laughs> Okay, next one here. Dominican Republic, I believe. We have round poles mixed in the square. I think it's still Dominican Republic, right? Pare? No, they say Alto there. So is this like Ecuador? Or did they say that in, in Dominican Republic? <gasps> no. 
Oh, of course he gets it because he's got the car. Although, to be fair, I could see it peek, keep peeking through there. Oh, man. I thought they said um, Alto like they're doing now, Mexico. Now, there was a clue there that I think you may have missed. Um, I could I could kind of see it peeking through, but uh, I just had one of those 10 seconds moments where I, I thought they say Alto in Dominican Republic, not Pare on the stop sign. I thought they did the, um, the uh, like, Central American style. I don't know about that, but there was a post office that said Dominicana. Oh, I see. <laughs> I happen to have uh, locked eyes with that and maybe you didn't? Yes, I certainly did not. I would have, I wish I did now. <laughs> Ooh, what do we have here? Do we have flags there on the left? What are these? Ooh, nothing. Is it like Costa Rica? No. Costa Rica? Is this Costa Rica? I feel like this could be Costa Rica. I'm not really sure though. What are, oh, it's Dominican Republic again. What's he gone? Okay, he's gone in Mexico. I get lucky there. Two Dominican Republics in a row. That's kind of strange now. Okay, and the final round here been a pretty abysmal seed here. And this one should be Indonesia. Now, I don't know the island here. It's it's probably Sumatra, but I'm not I can't be sure. So I'll go Sumatra here. And it was oh it was Kalimantan. Fortunately, he goes in Thailand there, but that was a definitely a difficult Kalimantan, I think. So got mate, it. you got the country there to cap it off. Yeah, I mean this was a pretty poor seed from the both of us, I think. Yeah, not great by our standards, but uh what was the score there? I think I still managed uh 4 1 despite some pretty poor guesses on the DR there. Still haven't been whitewashed yet. Still have not. Champion effort. Hercule Dokely, what do we have over here? So this one should be somewhere in Uruguay with these trident style poles there. Vibes wise, I would say maybe a bit further south here, but I'm not too sure. Maybe just click central south. It was south. <gasps> Oh, it's very close. Oh, he's, oh, what is that? He's so oh, narrowly closer. You, you got me. Oh, you, you got me. No, yeah. did I? You are 22 points closer than me. What was your distance? 107 k Ks. Oh, mine's in miles. Yeah, yours is in miles. Oh no, mine's shambles. 62 miles. Fuck. <laughs> I really want to know like how close our distances were. Within five kilometers of each other, I think. Okay, next one here. Looking like Brazil could be Ghana still, I could see. Yeah, that looks like Ghana. Yeah, it's a Ghana pole in the background there. Some hills, so it should be further south here. I was just kind of thinking of kind of hedging it in, in between all the hills here. Should be close enough. And it's a pretty close guess here. And he goes over in Nigeria, so that's pretty good. Happy with that. Superb guess, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, looks a bit like Switzerland again to me here. Yeah, we got these. Ooh, yeah, we have like these short front plates that you get in Switzerland. Uh, we have German as well, so that really helps here. I think I would just go Zurich here and hope for the best. And it is Zurich and he goes, he's going Hamburg there. That's helping. That's helpful. <laughs> That's really impressive, my man. I know, I know it was, there were big houses, but is there anything which clinched uh, Zurich for you? Um. So yeah, we were speaking German there, as you saw, and we just like had a bigger city vibe with those kind of rich looking buildings. So I thought Zurich, I've seen it looking really rich before. I'll click there. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. Thank you. Okay. And the next one, here should be, ooh, where is this now? So I think this is actually somewhere in Laos. Now, I'm not really sure where. I'm gonna click Luang Prabang. I'm not really sure. <gasps> it is Luang Prabang. Let's freaking go, dude. Amazing. I'm so happy. Again, mate, amazing. I am on a stonking score right now. I could get a 20, 24.4 oh, here. Shit, you are on a stonking score, aren't you? 19, <sighs> 4, 9, 2 with one round to go. Oh my God. Okay, guys, I'm so, oh, it's looking good. It should be Germany here or something like that. What, what's signs do we have? <gasps> It is Germany. We have brick buildings, some. Um, it could even be Luxembourg here. I think it's brick though. I'm gonna click like this in Germany. Frankfurt area. <gasps> no, it is Lux. It's Lux, it's Lux, no. I mean, it's still pretty close. Oh, it's so close to a 24K. I should have just gone a bit closer. Oh man, that is gutting. It is. I thought it was a brick house because it was red. Um, I think it was actually just painted pink because in, in Lux, you don't really get brick houses. So if I, I, I mentioned that it could be Luxembourg, but if I knew it wasn't brick, I would have gone there for sure. Oh, because if you'd have figured out it was Luxembourg, You'd have been in the money. Yes, yes. I mean, it's. I mean, the Avenue of Trees, so Luxembourgish. I should have got it, but yeah, it's okay. Thirty-three point nine, still good. Yeah, and I think that was the first floors. Were you closer any any of those? I don't think so. Oh, you were. The, the, of course, the bloody Uruguay. <laughs> really? Yeah, you were closer. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna see if Harry Potter here can defeat Ginny Weasley, um, <laughs> or Whitewasher, so to speak. Um, <laughs> Let's do it. You ready? Absolutely. Let's get it. Very keen. Alrighty, here we go, guys. Let's see if we can uh, maintain our perfect record here of, uh, of game wins. There should be somewhere in... I think it's just going to be central Ukraine here. I'm not really sure. It is southern again. Hmm. Oh, he's done it. Oh, this guy. I can't believe it. What a guess. I don't believe I've just done that. I had no clue at all until probably two seconds to go. And then I thought, fuck it. I'll try an Odessa. This guy's still got it, guys. Don't sleep on Geo, is it? He's still 
still got it. He's still the wizard, man. Oh, God. Okay, next one here. Could we see... Ooh, what do we have here? Interesting language. Uh, we have Portuguese... I mean, Spanish. Looks like a Bolivian flag for that reason. I think the white lines are a bit strange here. Oh. Okay, what's Santa Cruz there? That's a really weird one. Like, the white lines? What the heck? But yeah, what's just Santa Cruz there? So I'm happy with that. Oh, man. I thought that was French writing. French language. I well, got it all wrong. I, yeah, I And I understand your guess because we had white road lines in the center. I was very confused there. Yeah, that's why I went there. Yeah, yeah. We did have a Bolivian flag, and then this city is much more green than the others. And not to mention that uh, they have this like, kind of octagonal, hexagonal pavement a lot in the city. So I saw a bit of that, and I was pretty happy with the guess. Nice, man. That is some serious knowledge. Yep, yep. It's a good one to know. Bouncing back here. This looks like Germany to me. Could still see other countries, though. Yeah, definitely looking like Germany here. Now, I think this is so flat that you'd kind of click middle here. Um, just to hedge everything, I think. And it is, oh, it's very middle. And he goes a bit further north. Excellent. Yep, I could totally have seen this area too, but probably more brick buildings around there. So I'm happy with that guess. Right near where I stayed in Würzburg. So that makes sense. Okay, next one here. And we got yellow outer lines here. So it's probably South Africa. Ooh, it's mixed vibes here. It's definitely South Africa, but I don't know where to go in the country. Like I could see a, a number of different places working here. Just gonna click south of Lesotho. Oh, absolutely getting it there. I can't believe that. I had no idea. Like I was really just hedging for this whole South coast and happened to get the right hills there. So that's really nice. And the last one here should be, I mean, I think it's Indonesia. Oh, it could be Philippines. Is he driving right hand side of the road? No, I think it's an Indonesian pole there. I have to hedge in the water here, I think. I'm not really sure where this is. Oh, it's all the way that side. Oh, and he goes he goes India. I think he's further away though. Round result? Yeah, we are closer there, fortunately. Well played, sir. Well played. Thank have you, you whitewashed me there? No, once again, you avoided it on round one. Uh, which round was that? That was the Odessa round, of course. <laughs> oh, of course, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Oh my gosh, unbelievable. <laughs> what a guess. <laughs> okay, first one here, I believe, Faroe Islands. Now, I never really know where to click when it looks like this kind of wintry stuff, but I think I would just kind of hedge in the middle here. See what he goes for. Oh, we're very close here. <gasps> no, he gets it. I should have clicked on the wall. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe this guy. He's so good at hedging in the middle. That is crazy. <laughs> this is the 24k. Come on. For Surely, both of for us. both of us. Yeah, we do it together in glory, Tom. Okay, next one here. Thin poles here. What do those mean? Malta, maybe? No. Long place here. Yeah, could still be Malta. Yeah, they're, they're parked on the left-hand side here. Now, he might get that as Malta too, but I'm going to click a bit further west here. I think this could be like up go area or something. <gasps> we 5k there. Very nice. And he goes in Spain. Yeah. Understandable. Understandable. Oh man, you've got it. This could be an insane game for you. I hope so. Yeah. I mean, I could see that they were parked on the left-hand side there. So that kind of got rid of my worries about Italy or Spain. Okay. Yeah. I was just focused on the houses and shit. Okay. What are we going to get here? Oh, this is Britain. That's interesting. Like very big brick church here. What do I think of that? Wales maybe. Oh, is it France? Is it Brittany in France? Maybe. Could see it like being out here somewhere. <gasps> Let's go. Excellent guess. And he goes Britain. Not a surprise. Not a surprise. Yes, mate. Totally get it. Got the Celtic Brittany kind of, uh, yeah, Brittany Normandy architecture there. Yeah, man. And I actually said in the last two seconds is France. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like to look at this. I think it's gettable. I don't know the country yet though. So looks like it's going to be in Bolivia, but I don't know where. Oh, open up map. Come on. Come on. Come on. La Paz, I think is best, but I'm not sure. Oh, it is La Paz. Oh, let's go. Okay. He hedges middle this time. That's great. We can still get a crazy score here. Oh, 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 mate, that's amazing. This could be the seed, Tom. This could be the seed. This could be it. And I'm quite pleased that I went Bolivia, I've got to say. Yeah, yeah. That is... Also a good guess. Okay, what do we get? What do we get here? Ooh, it's gettable. I think it's, oh, I think it's Bali. It's Bali. Let's go. We got it. This is Balinesian roofs here. Oh, he's going to be happy. He's going to be happy with me. Click Bali here. Now, I think it's just going to be center of the island. Yeah, it's pretty like compact. Lots of, lots of things going along around here. And it is, oh, it's not even Bali. It's Panita. But we get it. We got the 24K. Let's go. Oh, mate. Let's go. That is incredible. We had Balinesian roofs there with the Hindu shrines on the top. Ah. Amazing. Wasn't even Bali though, so <laughs> didn't get the island, but I got the 24k. Let's go. Oh my god, man. I mean, I didn't know whether that was well, yeah. The the options were endless for me, but so what score have you ended on? 24313. That is a score that I could only dream of. I've never crested 24k, and he's just casually done it in this uh in this little competition. Do you know the silver lining here? What? That you were closer in the Faroe Islands again. Oh yes! <laughs> <laughs> and that was the only one. Yep. Mate, this is ridiculous how I'm hanging on. It is. I love it though. Okay. Okay, let's, gotta get the floors. Surely I get it soon. Here we have some Kenya. This is the Kenya car peeking through my no car script. Looks more Western. This, this car is also found more commonly in the West. So I would kind of click 
around this region, I think. When it was just further towards the capital. Oh, and he gets a macaroon. Nice guess there by GW. Oh, the whitewash oh. evades you yet again. <laughs> it does, it does. Always around one. Okay, what do we have here? Surely a bounce back here. I think it's going to be, yeah, it's Colombian plates there. Now, this is very flat for Colombia. I wonder where we'd click for that reason. I think we have to click near the middle here. Maybe in this uh, valley here, you get a lot of flatness. Maybe it's just Bogota. It is just Bogota, but he goes in Turkey. Understandable. We had that kind of brick architecture that's kind of common oh, there. Oh yeah. boy. 24K well and truly out the window. Yeah, unfortunate. The yellow plate in the background really helps for getting Colombia there, of course. Ah, shit, I didn't see it. Next one here, immediately giving me North Macedonia vibes. Although, oh, what is this? I'm not sure. Wait, where's the sun? Sun's north. Chile. I'm saying it's Chile instead. I don't know though. Let's see. Come on. Oh, it is. Let's go. Oh my gosh, that was too close for comfort. Wow. Next one though. What is that? Language. Uh, okay, it looks like, um, uh, I don't know. Is it here? Okay, we just get it in time. Goodness me. Great guess, mate. I changed last minute from Slovakia, so I'm glad I did that. Oh yeah, we had like a very Croatian last name, so I was also considering going there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, final round here. No flawless, but we can get four again. And this should be somewhere in Sweden. Now, he's probably gonna know that. So I have to think about how far north or south I click here. I would say it's a bit further north. I would say it maybe maybe around here or something like that. <sighs> And he is further north. Oh, thank goodness. Yes, we're just closer there. That's good. You're closer again there. Um, oh, yeah, but the white no is... Uh, no flaws. Yeah, yeah. Kenya. Okay. Nice. Seven games left. Okay, let's move on. Good luck in game 14. Okay, so we're driving right here. I think this is gonna be another Puerto Rico. It's got that kind of same kind of highway vibe that I was telling him about. Now he might get it this time and he does. Oh, he doesn't. Okay, it's gonna be a uh, Idaho guess there. Yeah, makes sense. We'll move on from that one. Okay, next one here. <laughs> um, what are we looking at here though? I shouldn't talk crap too soon. I think it looks like a Polish kind of pavement here, but we got a wooden pole. So maybe Czech? I don't know, it could be Czech here. Yeah. Oh, it is, okay, it's Hungary. And he goes pole in there. He's probably closer. Is he? Yeah, he's oh. closer. Nice guess, nice guess. The whitewash continues. Uh, oh, the, yeah. lack of. the lack of, yeah, the lack of. <laughs> okay, one of, the, one of these days it's gonna go my way, but not this occasion, apparently. This almost looks Poland again, but we have like a very American looking barn in the background, but no, I think this road would not be found in America. It's too patchy. So I'm gonna go like Eastern Poland here, maybe. And it is Central Poland. Very difficult round there. Don't, don't, not surprised that he went the wrong country, but that's okay, he's moving straight on. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, we got the Suzuki Swift follow car that's found in Palestine. <laughs> that's a bit of cheeky meta, right? I think some of you guys might not like that one so much, but you know, it is, you use what you can. I think it's going to be somewhere around here where I've clicked. Now he's pretty close too. Goes in Jordan. Yep, understandable guess there. Palestine, well done, mate. How do you differentiate Palestine from neighboring Jordan or Israel? Okay, you're not going to believe this, but um, in West Bank, there often is following you a white Suzuki Swift. So I saw yeah. that and I knew it had oh, to really? be Palestine. Yes. Well, now I know. Now you know, white Suzuki Swift. Okay, had to hit him with that ridiculous meta. But okay, next one here's Peru. We got the striped signpost here. These kind of painted poles. It's very red soil here. I, I don't really know where it's best to click. I think I go a bit further north here, but not really sure. Let's further south instead. Where's he go? Yeah, he goes middle. Doesn't surprise me. Not not a particularly uh, good guess from me there. Wow, I'm surprised. Yeah, nice guess, nice guess. I don't know, Peru in the valleys. It's uh, a bit rough. It did feel northern, didn't it? I know what you mean. Yeah, I just had a round recently with red soil like that in the north. I thought I'd try it again. Good, solid score though, mate. That was a uh, 3-2. Three, two. Okay, what do we have here? Argentina, I think. These look like Argentinian lights. Now, I think it's further west, but I don't know how far north. So I think I'll just click like here, yeah, maybe. Okay, it's a bit further south there. That's good. It goes in Ukraine. Not really surprising. It's, there wasn't too much to give it away there. Those particular light posts are very Argentinian though. Uh, it was worth a go. It was worth a go. Oh, you went, oh, oh you went, oh, that's all right. Okay. <laughs> okay, next one here. A bit of North America action? No. We've had surprisingly few North America rounds, which has been great. Oh, we, we do have an American truck here. Interesting. So, is this feels like just middle of the country, like Missouri or something to me. I'm not sure. Okay, it was Tennessee. Go, he goes up Pennsylvania. Yeah, not surprising. It's a very difficult one there. Mixed vibes. It was actually Alabama. Okay, interesting. Next one here. Just Greece, I think, with these double white road lines. Yeah, yellow field inside here as well. Should be northern Greece. I think it's just like too much grass to be south here. Thessaloniki area coming to mind here. Or maybe even further east. We'll see. And okay, it was Thessaloniki area there. Very nice guess. He goes Italy. No, yeah, not surprising. Uh, I knew that was Greece last, last couple of seconds. Yeah, those double white lines are so iconic. Ironically, Greece, so much more mm. common there than Italy for sure. I feel like you might whitewash me here, mate. Ooh, we shall see, we shall see. <laughs> okay, next one here is difficult. Could this be maybe Hungary, Poland, something like that? Well, Poles are actually Romanian. I think that's kind of difficult for him to get. They're kind of hidden over there. They're painted white at the bottom, which is very Romanian. I think I'm just gonna click middle here. I think it's best, and it is middle. Now he goes Slovakia, that's good. Okay, well, I need one more round here to get the flawless. Surely I can. Here we go, moment of truth. Moment of truth, surely it's, oh, I'm, I'm keen for it's it to be something you pit me out on. 
Okay, we have Kenya. So I have to region guess Kenya here. Not my not my worst country. Uh, that's interesting. I think this is east. East of Nairobi? Oh, I don't know. I just kind of go east of Nairobi here, I think. Yep. Oh, thank goodness. Finally, he goes Uganda. Let's go. Oh, he's got me. Finally. <laughs> That's a weight right. off my shoulders. Yeah, no, that was that was coming. I've never seen the white Google car in Kenya before. Is that new? Yeah, that's that's also new as of a year ago when they did the big African update. Yep. Okay, okay. Five more to go. A quarter remaining. Let's see if I can win a game or failing that. Let's just, you know, let's just hope for some insane guesses. Let's do that. Okay, what are we gonna have here? Round number one. Lesotho here. Now we have a bit of corn, and there's a there's a secret meta in Lesotho where you click near where it says corn exchange when you have corn. Let's we'll see if it's right. It is right. Oh, he just goes the other side of the border. Unlucky there. You fucker. <laughs> a really good guess. Honestly, kind of an insane guess. The fact that you just vibed that out, but got the wrong country. This area does come up quite a lot in the world. It uh, does. Map. Okay, this is Albania. I can immediately tell. These, these silver Mercedes are everywhere in Albania for no reason. Let's get in here. I don't really know where, to be honest. I, I kind of thought near Tirana, but yeah, I'm just going to send to hedge it here. Oh, it is near Tirana. Let's go. Um, That's a pretty good guess, but he gets close as well. Oh, man. That is another same story. Yep, same story, same story. Man. Amazing. Good guess. I have to say, those silver Mercedes are so Albania. For some reason, all the old Mercedes of Europe just end up there. Yeah, and a few Volkswagens as well. True, true. I kind of love it. Yeah. It adds character to the country. Next one here. What are we going to do? Um, Let's say this is probably Japan. Now, these roofs are really fancy, so I thought a bit further south here. The rock walls are dead interesting. I don't know where I'd put these. When it is Kyushu, that makes sense to me. He goes Tokyo trying to play the map meta, but no, it works Yeah, fast. nice, man. Just the vibes of the trees, was it? Yeah, so um, we had like really fancy roofs, and I feel like they're really common around Kyushu. And then like the rock walls as well kind of reminded me of Korea, so I also thought it might be further mm. that direction. Nice, nice. Okay, round number four here. Well, this is difficult. I don't know the country. I think it's India, actually. So Oh, oh, is that a southern pole? Yeah, he's gonna go, he's gonna go Delhi to get him, I guess, in here. It is Delhi. He's gonna click the same area, isn't he? Oh, <gasps> this time we're closer. Let's go. Oh, you got me in Delhi on my home turf. <laughs> you should have clicked the same place. It's literally the same suburb as last time. My gosh. Oh, yeah. It's very easy to sort of go, okay, I went there last time. I'll, I'll, I'll go here now. But sometimes, you know, it's just the same. On any other map, that would be a legitimate tactic. But on the world map, nah, you just click the same. Okay, and what's it gonna be? I think Senegal here. Yes, yeah, Senegal. And we have weird hills. I really don't know what to make of that. Sometimes you see weird hills near rivers, so we could be near the Gambia, but I think I just kind of click this area here. Oh, it's all the way out there. And oh, okay, he goes Spain, so yeah, that was not going to be a can-do for him, but still. Oh man, unlucky. Other side of Senegal. Yeah, that's a really, that's a really cool and interesting and hard round. I would never go there. Yeah, I knew there was something wrong about southern Spain and Portugal. It just wasn't dry enough. Okay, oh, this is Taiwanese plates, and often rounds that look like this with the low camera tend to be like Pengu or something. Oh, it's mainland there. Oh, when he goes Spain. Wow. That totally confused me, man. Yeah, that was a really interesting round. It was so generic looking. It looked like nothing. Yeah. Okay, next one here. Looks like a European guardrail. We have, I think, either Swedish or Norwegian bollards and everything. I would click Norway border here, I think. When it is Swedish bollard. Yeah, that was a German style one. Oh no, I've lost my head now. Oh no. <laughs> as soon as the two floors happened. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I'm crumbling. All right, let's just move on. The less said, the better. There was no clues on that round, to be fair, apart from the buildings. Okay, round number three here. And I am not sure. I kind of thought this was maybe North Macedonia. I don't know. I'll, I'll click Skopje here. I'm not really sure. Oh, it's Serbia, Belgrade. That makes sense. When he goes Bucharest, which is the closer capital, I believe. I believe it is indeed uh, Skopje, but only just. Next one here looks like Andorra. So let's see if we can get these towns then. Uh, Villa Nord, that should be the northern town, I imagine. So we have to click near there. Now, Villa Nord, where's Villa Nord actually? Oh no, it's the other side. Yeah, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Ah, there we go. Very nice, very nice. I, I thought Villa Nord might be in the north side of the country. And what do we have? Maybe some, oh, we have like, yeah, some Scandinavian poles here, some flag poles. I would say South Sweden. But I could see Denmark as well. I'm going to literally click on, on the border here. And it's Denmark. And he goes Sweden too. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, interesting we both went Sweden, but you went to a very Danish looking part of Sweden. Yeah, we had one ho uh, house made of bricks. And that's why I thought, yeah, can always be Denmark as well. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good score, mate. Very consistent. GGs. Three more games to go. Here we go. Okay. So we have what looks to be some, is that a Polish crossing sign there? I think it is. Yeah, yeah. We see a Polish roof in the background here. Should be just Warsaw area, I think. And... And... 
yeah, and like Ukraine, actually very similar landscape, so good guess. Also similar architecture there, so it makes sense. But the Holy Pole would not be found there. Our next one here, what do we have? What crops do we have here? Very generic South Africa once again here. But I think some of these trees actually feel a bit further north, actually. So I'm going to click up here somewhere when it was further north there. Does he get it? Oh, he does. Where is he gone? Oh, he didn't make a guess. Okay. Yeah, it was a, quite a difficult one. Good guess, one. man. Sorry, I timed out there. That's all right. I've almost done that many times by now. My mind just went blank. My, my last thought was Australia, but then I was just thinking how we haven't had Australia. We haven't. That's actually so... That's such a rob. Okay, I almost thought we'd have it here. The double white lines looked like it, but this should be Denmark. Kind of rolling landscape here, very common there. Uh, yeah, these little gaps in the road lines as well. Very, very Danish to find that. Um, Odense, I think is fine here. We'll see. Um, and it is Odense, nice. So Ulfun, and uh, he goes in Germany. Pretty reasonable guess in my opinion, but yeah, just had to be Denmark with those road lines. Next round here, number four, we have some German or yeah, some Dutch. Okay, that makes sense. Didn't really look like German language. And we have yellow number plates here as well. So that should be somewhere. Yeah, this kind of looks like Holland. I think, uh, within the Netherlands. Oh, and it is north. Where does he go? Oh, he's a bit further. Yeah, unfortunate. And the final round here, I think this is maybe Iceland, the way it looks looks to me so far. Oh, it's no, it's low quality generation two. Ever Northern Ireland then? Or like Isle of Man? That would be crazy. I'll try that. Oh, it is Isle of Man. Let's go. Oh. Yes, let's go. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. That's incredible, mate. <laughs> Thank you so much. Isle of Man, what was you thinking? So we had like the really old coverage. They haven't sent the cars there for ages. I still wasn't sure at all, but then I just got the vibe as well. I just thought that the houses looked a bit Irish, but not yeah. quite. And then I just kind of clicked middle and it was it was working. Nice. That's beautiful. Okay, what do we have here? A bit of Malta action? No, we got green number plates. Wait, what? I think it's uh, Jordan then? Or is, oh, it's Israel. Wow. And he goes, yeah, Turkey. Yeah, hard round there. We didn't have any uh, yellow number plates because it was in Palestine there. So normally in Israel, we'd have yellow ones and that makes it a lot easier. Okay, next one here is uh, driving left with white road lines. I think this is actually, the, the cart makes me think it's actually somewhere in Bangladesh, but I could still see like Indonesia here. Or is Bangla, yeah. And where's he gonna go? Okay, Philippines, yeah, makes sense. Not a bad guess. It was a really difficult one there. Okay, next one here. I mean, this should be somewhere in in Thailand, I think. Yeah, Thai poles here. We don't have any palm trees, so I'm gonna click a bit further north. Oh, we do have one actually, but yeah, I'm just gonna hedge in the middle here. I think it's fine. <gasps> Sri Lanka. And he, does he get it? Oh, he doesn't guess. Yeah, it was a really difficult one there. <laughs> well, uh, a Chilean, Chilean pulse here with the indent, the concrete ones. Now, what's the vibe here? How far north do I go? This kind of feels like near Santiago to me. I'm not really sure where though. What's oh, south? You might get closer here. Yeah, ooh, what a guess there. Nice. Okay. Nice, that's, Tom. That's not bad. That's a pretty crazy guess. I was, I, I saw like kind of the dryness. I thought it was further north. Yeah, to be honest, I was, I was kind of like working my way up towards Los Angeles, but I think the time ran out. So. So, yeah, well, I'll no matter, it. you were going to be way closer anyway. Nice guess. Thank you. Next round. Okay, and this last one, looking like an India, I think. And well, this one might feel a bit further south, though. We have like hills, palms. I'm going to say this is uh, Chennai, maybe. It's risky, but I think it might be. Oh, it is just, uh, it's just, yeah. Oh, we both went south. Interesting. We both had the south vibe there, and I'm slightly closer, fortunately. <laughs> Are you closer there? Yes, you ever are. so slightly. Yep. Ah, uh, yeah. I think we, am I right in saying we both saw the palm trees and we thought, ah, I reckon Southern India. Yeah, a palm tree and a hill there. I, I was pretty confident on South, but yeah, there you go. But yeah, always go New Delhi. It's like 90% of the time on this map it is. Right, man. This has been so much fun. Um, yeah, it has been so much fun. I would keep playing, but I think the video is probably reaching quite astronomical lengths at this point. So yeah, let's uh, enjoy this last game and let's hope for an insane guess. I hope so too. Let's, let's get it. Game 20. Let's do it. Game 20. We have some Polish poles. Okay. This is uh, kind of like pinkish brick in the pavement. Super Polish. And I got a South vibe here, but Poland's impossible to get the right region. Okay. He goes Russia. Yeah. So yeah, just the Polish pole and that um, that footpath really making Poland the best option there. Okay. Next one here. Th uh, uh, maybe uh, Indonesia, but why are we on the footpath here? Oh, that's the Google car, I think. What is this? Is this UAE somehow? I think it's UAE somehow. Yes, it is. Wow. Really interesting around there. Oh, mate, this is not going well for me. <laughs> I was in like, what was I saying at first? I thought it was like Indonesia at first. I had no idea. I've got to redeem this. Here Come we on, go. Tom. Come on, Tom. Okay, what do we have here? Ooh, a bit of Britain, maybe? Or what is this? What is that architecture? Is it Austria, maybe, or something? Germany or Austria? I feel like it'll go Austria here, so I'm gonna go there too. Hedge between everything. Ooh, Stuttgart. Oh, and he goes France. So who's closer there? Oh, I'm just closer. Wow, interesting one. Moving straight forward there. Is this Europe or Chile? This could almost be Chilean. I think I think I could see, like, Slovakia or Pol it's at Deep South Poland working quite nicely here. I think I'll click right in the on the border there in Zakopane. And, okay, it was Czechia. And, yeah, he goes Poland as well. We both went Poland, but very different regions. Uh, but, yeah, the hills, uh, the 
Carpathian Mountains there or whatever, so that makes sense. Uh, a little improvement, but we've got the final round now. Yes, good luck, Tom. Good luck. Let's see what happens. Okay, and we have a hard one here. This is uh, looking like might be US, I think. Okay, so if it was US, I would say maybe West Virginia. And he's been there, of course, in his mission across America, so he could well get closer than me here. Oh, <laughs> he does get closer. <laughs> but, wow, oh, that's a really interesting say. one. No, we didn't just both go America. We oh, did. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I just wasn't sure, but I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go America. But I was like, oh, this this is Appalachians. This this looks like Tom's about to, you know, get a hitchhike through the power here or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but it wasn't to be. We've ended on hilariously bad terms, but um, oh well. I had such good fun. Yeah. So let's do the final calculation. Okay, I have it. You've got the calculations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what what did you predict first? Well, before we had that little warmer, I thought maybe I'd get five rounds on the whole thing but mm -hmm. I wasn't really considering how, how it works and how it you know can punish both of us basically mm -hmm. so after mm -hmm. that I predicted I'd get 10 rounds but it worked out better yeah. than that yeah it certainly has and so I think I predicted what I predict 75 to 80 maybe 75 to 85 or something like that yeah and I got 78 so yeah, yeah 22 for you yeah. 22 for me, 78 for you. Doubled your expectations. I've doubled, my, yeah, I'm happy. You're pretty happy because that's close to what you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's about what I expected. That was that was such a great series. I really enjoyed that. It was so it was so interesting. So any last takeaways here? What do you think? Um, yeah, the biggest takeaway was, yeah, anything can happen on 10 seconds, no moving, panning, zooming. But another takeaway is just how consistent you are. It's kind of like pro golfer versus, you know, an amateur golfer who's decent. You know, you're just getting all the shots pretty much. With it, what were the yeah, main takeaways for you? I mean, one, that you're playing a lot stronger than when I last watched you play on like uh, jewels or like competitive and battle round and stuff like that. That was number one. Two, yes, like on world map a lot of the time, you just guess, you guess Odessa or you guess where you've seen before and it's a winning tactic. And three, it's a really fun format. The, the hundred rounds, I, I really like that. And it really made me think like, oh, there's a lot of like small areas where I can improve to like get that small one time closer or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the great thing about you, I guess there's always more to learn more architecture or the meta stuff as well true um yeah all 100%, of it 100 percent, man well mate it's been an absolute pleasure just That's as been, i thought it would be yeah thank you so much for having me on it's been a, it's been a privilege to be on truly and uh who knows maybe you'll see another video soon featuring myself and oscar thanks for watching guys thanks for watching see you later peace